Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Flight Sim World, and thanks for joining us here on 2020 Flight Simmers. If this is your first time joining us, I would love to welcome you and suggest you go down there and hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and if you really want to help us out, smash that thumbs up button. So we're going to get into some PMDG news today about the DC-6 and the 737. Uh, but first, let's get into the DC-6. So for the past several weeks, the team over there at PMDG have been working diligently on a lot of the uh, issues with the DC-6. And of course, with the Sim Update 5, kind of threw everything into a whirlwind. And I can pretty much say for everybody, mostly everybody, had issues after Sim Update 5. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and talk about a couple of the things that they pushed out in this week's update to the uh, DC-6. And if you haven't done so already, hop over there to the installer and it's sitting there waiting for you. I highly recommend you download it. Uh, because a couple things uh, that they changed in this really brings it closer to real life. So, in the external model geometry, pink door frames were on the DC-6A. They went ahead and took care of that. Uh, external model landing light wing lights still have textures when they were off the nav and beacon lights in op after sim update 5 they also removed sequential prop de-icing verbiage from the poh outside view issues when using vr also floating knobs for the captain and first officer lights and the very last thing was the gps nav one volume knob still spinning after sim update 5 uh, again if you haven't downloaded it yet hop over there to the installer and uh, go ahead and download that. Now let's move on to the 737 news. And uh, the team over there were trying to get this thing pushed out into beta testing on August 1st. And of course, Sim Update 5 happened and threw everything into chaotic whirlwind. So now they have about 75% of their team working on this thing to get it into beta testing, which they're hoping to by the end of this year. But when it comes to a Sobo, you never know when they're going to push out an update that is going to throw everything off. So I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Well, that's it for today's news. I would love to thank you for coming and watching the video today. Again, if you haven't done so already, go down there and hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up. Thanks again for watching 2020 Flight Simmers. And as always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one.